Uh, the topic is health. <laughs> the doctor told me to lose some weight. I said, how? He said, don't eat anything fatty. I said, what, pies, chips, that kind of thing? He said, no, just don't eat anything fatty. <laughs> I was thrown out of Weight Watchers for making sarcastic comments during the weekly weigh-in. As you can imagine, I accepted the decision with huge grace, because they threw her out as well. <laughs> Chair of Dyslexic Society was recently given an OBE. He said, what's the point? I can't play the bloody thing. <laughs> I live next door to a family of anorexic agrophobics. Yeah, but they've got a few skeletons in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine's been suffering from paranoid delusions and now he thinks he's a chocolate orange. <laughs> I worry he's going to be sectioned. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Terry. <laughs> I thought PPI was just something you could get if you didn't wear goggles at the swimming baths. <laughs> Bought an alcoholic ginger beer. He wasn't pleased. <laughs> I once met a girl who confused a tube of KY jelly with super glue. I asked how it happened, but sadly her lips were sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Well done to both of you. And so is transport. Where you go, guy. I had a nightmare on the journey over here, and luckily that woke me up just before I ran over a small child. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I lost control at a roundabout, and then I went absolutely bonkers on the swings. <laughs> I stopped in a lay-by, there was a sign saying no dumping. That was right, I was just having a wee. <laughs> I joined a breakdown service for Scousers. It's called the AA. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> they can't fix your car in an hour, they'll nick you a new one. <laughs> the Paralympics taught us all that sometimes we should stop and put ourselves in the place of people with disabilities. And I have to say, those parking spaces are brilliant. <laughs> In the car on the way over here, I kept hearing this annoying, whiny noise. So I pulled over, my girlfriend got out to have a look at the engine, and I drove off. <laughs> <laughs> the other night, I saw a couple weaving all over the street. I said, honestly, get a loom. <laughs> I accidentally filled the escort with diesel. She died. <laughs> And it's relationships. Right, relationships. Uh, it's good to be here. Last time I was here, a girl asked me for sex. I had to disappoint her. We had sex. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to learn to be a more sensitive lover. I got a DVD, How to Improve Your Foreplay Technique. It was really good. I had to fast forward through the boring bit at the beginning. <laughs> Last night I had beef stew with dumplings. I shouldn't call her that, but she's a big girl. <laughs> I went to see the stalactites at Cheddar Gorge, and our guide asked us not to try and crack one off, and she wasn't even that attractive. <laughs> I still managed. <laughs> it was very dark. <laughs> this morning I went to a meeting in my premature ejaculator support group, but it turns out it's tomorrow. I think a few of the men started clapping before the end of that joke, by the way. <laughs> My girlfriend's dog died. So to cheer her up, I got her an identical one. She was livid. What am I going to do with two dead dogs? <laughs> a friend of mine had a penis extension. Now his house looks really stupid. <laughs> and the topic is family. Family. Old lady names are very much back in fashion at the minute, like Lily or Elsie or Rose, and we wanted something like that for our daughter, but we couldn't decide, so in the end we just called her Nan. <laughs> 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 I 
told her she'll grow into it. <laughs> I remember one time my uncle asked me to spell Schadenfreude and I couldn't, but he's dead now and I'm not, so I win. <laughs> My cousin always introduces himself as Stephen with a PH, and that's because he's slightly acidic. <laughs> My married friends would always tell me there's someone out there for everyone, and I'd think, wow, she must be a right slag. <laughs> knock, knock, who's their granddad? Shit, stop the funeral. <laughs> Granddad asked me how to print on his new computer. I said, just control P. He said, I haven't been able to do that for years. <laughs> My confirmed bachelor uncle always describes himself as asexual, but I'd also add B, gay. As a child, I was always told that if I touched myself down there, God was watching, but it turned out it was just Uncle Peter. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. The topic is animals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to eat anything labelled reformed ham, as I think it's unfair that the pigs are slaughtered after they've got their lives back on track. <laughs> Last night I had to get towed home because Ratty and Molly were too pissed. <laughs> Whenever I see ginger people going grey, I'm always reminded of the sad plight of our native squirrels. <laughs> I went round Grandad's to walk his dog. As I was leaving the house, he said, Don't forget poo bags. I was like, All right, Gran. <laughs> My girlfriend's a cat person. She's got fishy breath, shits in a tray and disappears for days at a time. <laughs> I tried swimming with dolphins once, but I didn't like it as I found them very clicky. <laughs> dolphins who die without any money are given a pauper's funeral. <laughs> the other day I was chewing on some monkey nuts and now I'm banned from the zoo. A doctor, I'm addicted to screwing dogs. Have you tried patches? What's he, a poodle? <laughs> I went to the zoo to watch the monkeys wanking. Then I went to watch the crocodiles and I was still wanking. <laughs>They started a celebrity magazine for the elderly. It's called Hello, Hello, Hello. <laughs> Yuri Geller, surprisingly hard to stab. <laughs> Malcolm X chose that name rather than admit he'd accidentally put a kiss at the end of a text message. <laughs> I went to see Walt Disney on ice. Bit disappointing, it's just an old bloke in a freezer. <laughs> The new president of France said this week that English speakers were arrogant in their refusal to learn foreign languages. At least I think that's what he said. <laughs> but it all just sounded like haw he haw haw he haw. <laughs> and remember, that's not racist if it's about the French. <laughs> I'd have five pounds on the Dalai Lama if I was a Tibetan man. When they buried the man who invented Tetris, the whole cemetery disappeared. <laughs> as well as seven years in prison here, Abu Hamza could be deported to the United States where he could face the electric chair. But on the plus side, if he is electrocuted, at least he can just stick his hook in the air and pretend to be a bumper car. <laughs> the topic is technology. OK, where are you going? The young couple next door to me have recently made a sex tape. I mean, obviously, they don't know that yet.
the hardest part of making skimmed milk must be throwing the cows across the lake. <laughs> The guy next to me at work used to watch porn all day. I'm just glad he didn't begin to rub off on me. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I was to try revenge porn, I'd just post naked pictures of myself online <laughs> so everybody would know how low my ex's standards were. <laughs> When answering the security question, place of birth, apparently vagina is not an acceptable answer. <laughs> it's been a tough week. I got myself a memory foam mattress and now it's trying to blackmail me. <laughs> I've currently got a stalker, but you probably can't tell in these trousers. <laughs> A friend of mine was killed by the big C. He was walking past Curry's and a sign fell on his head. <laughs> I was watching TV and the announcer said there's a documentary about the clitoris on the red button, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. OK, the topic is health. Where you go? I'm a lot sportier than I might look. In fact, I picked up a little niggle at the gym the other day. I mean, he pronounces it Nigel. <laughs> I had a very stressful journey getting here today. All the way, this lorry driver was right up my ass, but it was nice of him to give me a lift. <laughs> now, I spent most of the afternoon hanging out at the swimming baths, and then somebody told me and I tucked it back in again. <laughs> <laughs> I put on a lot of weight recently, so I rang up Weight Watchers. I said, it's an emergency. Can you send somebody round? And they said, yes, we can. We got loads of those. <laughs> My grief counsellor died recently, but luckily he was so good I didn't give a shit. <laughs> I accidentally kicked the dog earlier and he bit me on the bollocks. My mate said, it's karma. I said, no, if anything, he's even more angry. <laughs> I asked the vet, what can I do? I think my dog's racist. He keeps barking at the Asian man next door. And the vet said, muzzle him. I said, I don't know, but he's got a beard. <laughs> I went round to see my nan. I said, what you been up to? She said, weed in the garden. I said, well, at least you didn't shit in it. <laughs> I was in the garden with my girlfriend earlier, and we saw the 18-year-old girl next door, all doled up, ready to go out clubbing. And my girlfriend said, do you know what? At that age, I could really see myself in her. Which was weird, cos I was thinking the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. The topic is health. Gary. <laughs> the area in a Nando's between the front and back door is called the periperineum. to judge my weight by my BMI, as long as I weigh less than a small plane, <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> when writing a story about losing your virginity, it's important to always put it in the first person. <laughs> <laughs> when people die and head towards the light, what they don't realise is they've already been reincarnated as a moth. <laughs> I can count the number of chainsaw accidents I've had on the fingers of one hand. <laughs> I tell you what always catches my eye, short people with umbrellas. <laughs> so the other day I was doing the hoovering in my pants and I thought to myself, how do my bollocks get this dusty? <laughs> been attending Gamblers Anonymous for three years, whereas my best mate Dave, he only stuck it out for two and a half, so I won that one. <laughs> I like to think I'm a bit like Superman. For example, the other day I changed in a phone box from a man who really needs a wee to a man who's just had a wee. <laughs> I pulled a sickie the other day, just one of the perks of working at the hospital. <laughs> The other day, my girlfriend and I had great makeup sex. Well, I say that, she was out and I stuck her lipstick up my ass. <laughs> because I'm worth it. <laughs> Thank you, hashtag lady. And the topic is animals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
like to eat anything labelled reformed ham, as I think it's unfair that the pigs are slaughtered after they've got their lives back on track. <laughs> Last night I had to get towed home because Ratty and Molly were too pissed. <laughs> Whenever I see ginger people going grey, I'm always reminded of the sad plight of our native squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> I went round Grandad's to walk his dog. As I was leaving the house, he said, Don't forget poo bags. I was like, All right, Gran. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's a cat person. She's got fishy breath, shits in a tray and disappears for days at a time. <laughs> I tried swimming with dolphins once, but I didn't like it as I found them very clicky. <laughs> dolphins who die without any money are given a pauper's funeral. <laughs> the other day I was chewing on some monkey nuts and now I'm banned from the zoo. <laughs> To doctor, I'm addicted to screwing dogs. Have you tried patches? What's he, a poodle? <laughs> I went to the zoo to watch the monkeys wanking. Then I went to watch the crocodiles, and I was still wanking. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Jane. And <laughs> relationships. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. That does actually look like me and my girlfriend. So that's <laughs> Uh, apparently, in Norfolk, the marriage guidance service is called Related. <laughs> My girlfriend says I'm not very romantic. The other day we were kissing on the sofa. She said, how about we take this into the bedroom? I said, OK, you get the other end. <laughs> when, uh, when she suggested we try playing doctors and nurses, I was really hoping for something sexier than being left in a corridor for two days. <laughs> My girlfriend and I are trying for a baby. Her mom's agreed to help out, just so I get hard. <laughs> She's going to see that on telly as well. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they always say you'll find the love of your life when you're not really looking, which was true. But by then, I'd run her over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to persuade my girlfriend to sexually stimulate me with her key ring, but she just keeps fobbing me off. So... <laughs> when I heard you could now be a sperm donor by post, I came in a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a swingers club. The doorman goes, it's £15 to get in, or you can pay £20. That includes a meal. I paid £20, I went in. This oiled naked guy comes up to me and goes, hello, my name's Emil. <laughs> I once had a one-night stand and I didn't get an erection. That isn't cool. Luckily, the woman I was with was really understanding. She just said, don't worry, that used to happen to me. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. And the topic is education. Uh, one time at school, I lost my thesaurus. You know, I couldn't find the words to describe how upset I was. <laughs> I remember sitting in psychology class, learning about Pavlov, thinking, no stupid dogs. And then the bell went and we all had lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting at home, this guy knocks on my door. Have you ever considered an alternative energy supplier? I'm like, no, I'm quite happy with food. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a tough job going round door to door, encouraging people to photosynthesize. <laughs> I can give you the leading cause of anaphylactic shock in a nutshell. <laughs> I've got the memory of an elephant. I remember one time I went to the zoo and saw an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> My nan recently claimed that she once gave a hand job to Albert Einstein. Mm. What a stroke of genius. <laughs> Technically, shoplifting from the Apple store only counts as scrumping. <laughs> education lessons at our school were pretty weird. The teacher made us shout out rude words to get out of our system, like bum, willy, cox, and we had to carry on doing that until he came. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the topic is nationalities. Where you go. 
My next door neighbour's really loud and obnoxious, so now I know how Canada feels. <laughs> I bought some lamb chops. On the packet it said reared in Wales. I thought that was just a racist stereotype. <laughs> This morning I made a Belgian waffle. In the afternoon I made a Frenchman talk bollocks. <laughs> In Scotland, the forbidden fruit is fruit. <laughs> when England played Poland at Wembley, there was 30,000 Polish fans in the crowd, and I thought, well, fair play to them. If I'd built it, I'd want to have a look round as well. <laughs> I like to annoy my Israeli flatmate by giving him any post that's just addressed to the occupier. <laughs> I was at an Italian zoo with a Christian friend of mine, so I thought, when in Rome, and pushed him into the lions. <laughs> Nan's going to that suicide clinic in Switzerland, but don't tell her, it's a surprise. <laughs> my granddad was killed by a Zulu. He was having a shit at Whipsnade and the roof collapsed. And the topic is relationships. <laughs> the other day, a woman described me as a bit of a looker. Well, voyeur was the actual <laughs> word that she used. I used to go out with a parachutist with IBS, but she shat on me from a great height. <laughs> One time, I nearly had a threesome with my girlfriend and my best friend, and the only thing that stopped it happening was they didn't invite me. <laughs> My girlfriend said she wanted to try some new condoms with something special inside to boost her pleasure. I said, oh, what's that? She said, other men. <laughs> our fourth child was called Ivy, and that's because we ran out of names and started using Roman numerals. <laughs> My last girlfriend was always trying to put me down, which is just one of the hazards of going out with a vet. <laughs> I tried reading a book on premature ejaculation, but I couldn't get past the opening passage. <laughs> this Christmas, I'm taking the whole family to Lapland, which is great, because normally those clubs don't let kids in. <laughs> I always worry when a woman sees me naked for the first time that she's just going to scream and run out of the park. <laughs> My girlfriend and I love watching box sets. We got three episodes into Orange is the New Black before finding out it wasn't about what would happen if Trump replaced Obama. <laughs> Topic is childhood. <clears throat> As a child, I was made to walk the plank. We couldn't afford a dog. <laughs> My six-year-old refuses to eat anything other than alphabetic spaghetti. Luckily, he's dyslexic, so I just buy him normal spaghetti. <laughs> Seems to work. Dad, these are all elves. Yeah, it's Welsh. <laughs> I bought him some medicine for his ADHD. On the side of the bottle, it said concentrate. I thought, if he could do that... <laughs> I bought a really nice 12-year-old scotch. Obviously, his parents weren't pleased. <laughs> I hate people who complain about breastfeeding in public. I don't want to see it, or that's disgusting, or you can't do that, you're not a woman. <laughs> and that's not a baby. <laughs> As kids, we always enjoyed dipping ginger nuts into a steaming hot cup of tea, but of course, nowadays, that's called bullying. <laughs> I shouldn't do that, by the way. Ginger jokes are the last vestiges of racism in comedy, and they started a ginger pride movement to stamp that shit out. They had a march in Hyde Park. Well, they were going to do when the sun came out. <laughs> <laughs> Nan always said that when she was young, she never had to worry about leaving her back door open. What a slag. <laughs> I'm totally going to get in trouble with the family again. This is really not worth it. <laughs> you got to look after your health as you get older. The other day I did a poo and noticed there was a little blood in it. I said, Oi, bruv, get out of my toilet, innit? <laughs> Thank you.
Well done, guys. Well so it is relationships. Okay. We <clears throat> I uh, used to suffer from premature ejaculation, which made me feel selfish and bad for my girlfriend. Then she suggested I try this special cream that reduces your sensitivity. And it really worked, because now I don't give a shit about her. <laughs> I bought a vegan friend of mine a fancy cookbook. Unfortunately, he said he couldn't accept it as it was leather-bound, which meant it was too heavy for him to lift. <laughs> When I was a teenager, my mom always said, your bedroom's so messy, you'll never get any self-respecting girl to come back here. But luckily, they weren't the ones I was going after. <laughs> I watched the director's cut of a porn film. At the end, he actually fixes the washing machine. <laughs> I was in a sex shop. I saw a dildo described as nine inches long and realistic. I thought, well, which is it? The Archbishop of Canterbury recently said he couldn't support gay marriage without first having a mandate. Honestly, if he's that bothered, I'll go out with him. <laughs> One time at a party, I chucked my car keys into a big bowl and everyone just stared at me and the trifle was ruined. <laughs> I was watching a really weird porno the other day that was just a fat man crying and wanking at the same time. <laughs> and then I realised I hadn't turned the telly on. <laughs> OK, the topic is work. <laughs> I nearly lost my job as a roofer when I was caught masturbating on the first day. Yeah, luckily, my boss said I could wipe the slate clean. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work at Waterstones. One day, a guy came in asking if we had any audiobooks with subtitles. I thought, hang on, that's a book. <laughs> The circus near me held a competition to find the best contortionist. So I entered myself and won. <laughs> in my old job, I just used to punch buttons all day. And that's why I'm no longer allowed to work in panto. <laughs> I've got two lawyers working for me at the minute. One's pro bono and the other thinks he's a right pretentious twat. <laughs> When my granddad was caught trying to stow away in the Merchant Navy, he offered to work his passage, which, as you can imagine, made him very popular. <laughs> <laughs> I hate people who phone me up just to complain about the weather, which is why I lost my job at Mountain Rescue. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a station the other day that had a piano on the platform, so I had a little tinkle on it, which saved me 30 pence. <laughs> I went on a positive thinking course. It was shit. <laughs> I bought a Microsoft advent calendar. If you open too many windows at once, they all shut again for no bloody reason. <laughs> Thank you. Well, and the topic is shopping. Here we go. I bought a slimming magazine in WH Schmidt's. I didn't read it. I just wanted a big bar of Galaxy for a pound. <laughs> Bought some fancy pens at a nudist art shop. Felt tips. No, but I touched a couple of bollocks. <laughs> I was in a lingerie shop. I said, are these knickers satin? He said, no, they're new. <laughs> I went to buy a Christmas tree. The guy said, you're going to put it up yourself? I said, no, I was thinking the living room. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Bought a chameleon. Lost it. <laughs> Why is it that when women go to the toilet in pairs, no one minds, but when I did it, I got thrown out the greengrocers? <laughs> I got into a fight with my acupuncturist and stabbed him. He said he'd never felt better. <laughs> According to the vet, my cat's in heat. I didn't even know she was famous. <laughs> of mine keeps going on and on about how good his orthopaedic shoe is, but I think he's built it up too much. <laughs> <laughs> I bought an advent calendar for Jehovah's Witnesses, but on every door somebody tells you to fuck off. <laughs> Thank you. Because childhood. 
didn't know what to get my little niece for Christmas, so I asked my sister what she's into. And apparently at the moment she's mad about frozen stuff, so I got her some oven chips and peas. <laughs> Every Christmas Day, we'd always have pigs in blankets, or as you probably call them, relatives sleeping in the spare room. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, possibly the most vindictive chapter in Nelson Mandela's autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> it was only after I shot the fifth zombie that I started to wonder why they were all carrying bags of sweets and ringing my doorbell. <laughs> I've been trying to recapture my lost youth. You know, I really must get that cellar door fixed. <laughs> <laughs> One time when I was a kid, I bought a chocolate bar. On the inside of the wrapper, it said, you're a loser. I wouldn't mind if there'd been some sort of competition on. <laughs> to make things worse, it was a boost. <laughs> As a family, we couldn't decide whether to have Nana buried or cremated, so in the end, we let her live. My 13-year-old cousin's already started taking heroin. It's amazing, isn't it? They shoot up so fast these days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There you go.